So if you guys have been following me, you know I actually really like the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus. I don't like its lack of availability, MSI is a bit quiet, but we have direct support from Intel, which is a big deal. We've been getting a ton of GPU driver updates, and the newest one comes with optimizations for the Intel Core Ultra 200 series gaming handhelds like the Claw 7 and 8 AI Plus. And this is really doing a lot to kind of smooth out those frame times and frame pacing at lower wattages, but also helping at 30 watts from what I can tell. Especially older titles that I tested at launch, which you'll see in this video with some comparisons, the frame times are a lot better and a lot smoother, even if ultimately the performance doesn't necessarily change a lot, and that changes the way the device feels when you're gaming quite a bit. Now, Intel's made it pretty clear that they want to continue improving this device, improving the chipset, and they've really done that. They continue to update the drivers continually. That direct support from Intel on the device is nice because we're not waiting on MSI for anything. And this newest driver has done a lot to smooth out that frame time and pacing at really all wattage from AI to 30 watts to 17, but especially that 17 watts. Monster Hunter Wilds here, which obviously is very difficult to run on anything, and this is still frame gen and FSR here, I really struggled to do 17 watts before at all. And even though this isn't a really hard area to run, this was actually pretty good to be able to do it at 17 watts here with the newer driver. So with newer titles, we might see more performance boost from these newer drivers. And with the older titles, it seems we get some smoothing out of that frame pacing and frame times, which you'll see in this video as it's really comparing the games that I checked at launch time back in January. So anyways, I'm going to leave it with you with some Cyberpunk and Black Myth Wukong, Forza Horizon 5, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider showing mostly benchmarks, a little bit of in-world gameplay, but mostly just showing you some consistent side-by-side -side of that old driver and new driver. Now, 17 watts and 30 watts will be swapped on what side of the screen they're on, which is annoying, but I did label everything here for you. I was trying to use all the footage I had from launch and all the new stuff for this new driver here. But anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the video and the comparison here showing you 17 watts and 30 watts and these four games and how they compare with those drivers. As always, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.
That should be sharp enough. Something's still holding the supplies up. Now I can get my gear back. 